Welcome to RTL Design Labs. This is Isaac, and in this video we will see how we can use the incremental implementation workflow in Vivado to reduce implementation runtime and preserve existing utilization and timing results. This is a video version of Lab 2 of User Guide 986. Incremental implementation is a special workflow that uses an existing reference implementation run as a starting point for a new, updated implementation, with the goal of reducing runtime and retaining good timing and utilization results. Incremental implementation can be used when we need to make relatively small changes to a design that has been placed and routed and already achieved timing closure. Let's see how it works. Incremental implementation is a two-step process. In the first step, an implementation run is completed in the usual way. The original RTL is run through the synthesis tool to generate a netlist, which is then run through the place and route tool to generate a checkpoint. We will consider this to be our reference netlist and implementation checkpoints respectively. In the incremental flow, we make changes to our RTL and run the updated version through the synthesis tool as we did with the reference design. However, Unlike in the usual implementation flow, in the incremental implementation, the place and route tool will take two inputs, the revised netlist and the reference implementation checkpoint from the original design. The tool will then try to reuse the results from the reference implementation checkpoint as much as possible, while including the relatively minor changes from the revised RTL. This should lead to a new implemented design that retains the good results from the reference run and includes the updated logic, while also reducing the implementation runtime. Let's take a look at an example. We will use the included BFT design example. After launching Vivado, we select Open Example Project from the Getting Started window. In the Create an Example Project window, we click Next, which takes us to the Select Project Template window. Here, we select the BFT project. In the Project Name window, we enter project BFT core HDL in a location of our choice. In the default part window, we will use the part that is already selected so we can move on to the new project summary window, where we can review the details of our design and complete the project creation process. Vivado then opens with the default view of our new project. In the design runs panel, we right click on any of the column headings and add the incremental column to the list of visible columns. Here we can see that the incremental implementation is disabled, but the incremental synthesis is enabled. When both the incremental synthesis and implementation are enabled, we talk about the incremental compilation workflow. In this example, we want to focus on the incremental implementation, so we will disable the incremental synthesis. To do this, we right-click on the synthesis run, select Set Incremental Synthesis, and in the Incremental Synthesis window, we select the Disable Incremental Synthesis option. We will repeat this process for the implementation run, but instead of disabling incremental implementation, we will select Specify Design Checkpoint, and then tell Vivado to automatically use the design checkpoint from the previous run. It is also possible to specify a different reference implementation checkpoint from the one that was just generated. For instance, if an older one yielded better results. We can now see that the incremental column for the implementation one run in the design runs panel shows the value auto skipped. This indicates that the incremental implementation flow has been enabled for this implementation run, but the actual incremental implementation has not yet been executed. We now select run implementation from the flow navigator and agree to launch synthesis first. Because we're in Vivado's project workflow, the reference implementation checkpoint is stored in the implementation runs directory from where it can be accessed by the incremental implementation flow. Now that the reference implementation has been completed, we can make minor changes to the RTL sources which will require the design to be synthesized and implemented once again. In the hierarchy tab of the sources panel, we double click the core transform VHDL file to open it in the Vivado editor. In lines 70 and 71, we will swap the inputs to the UREC and XREC signals. We can see in the Design Runs panel that the status of the synthesis and implementation has been changed to out of date. 
Now that we have updated our RTL code, we can run synthesis and implementation once again. Because we have already enabled and configured the incremental implementation workflow, we can simply start the implementation from the flow navigator as we did with a regular implementation run. When we select Run Implementation, all the runs are reset and relaunched. In the Sources window, the Utility Sources folder now shows the routed checkpoint from the previous implementation, assuming that it meets certain criteria to make sure that it is a good reference checkpoint for future implementation runs. The incremental column in the Design Runs panel has now been updated to Auto, not Skipped. After the incremental implementation finishes, we can take a look at the report generated by the incremental implementation to see how it performed when compared to the reference implementation. In the Design Runs panel, we select the Reports tab, and in the Route Design section, we double-click the incremental reuse report. Section 2 of the report shows a summary of the design elements that were reused from the reference design. Here we have a very high utilization, which makes sense, considering that the changes that we made were very small. Section 3 of the incremental reuse report shows a comparison of the worst negative slack and runtime between the reference and the incremental compilation runs. Here we see that the incremental compilation achieves a different worst negative slack. However, we must keep in mind that the two designs are not identical, so this change in the timing closure might be due to the updated logic and not necessarily a better performance of the incremental compilation. Here we can also see a comparison of the implementation runtime. However, because this is such a small design, all implementation steps were performed in under a minute. As we mentioned before, incremental implementation will be more beneficial for larger designs. In this video, we discussed the incremental implementation workflow in Vivado. We started by opening an example project and changing the implementation run to the incremental workflow. We then ran the implementation a first time to generate a reference implemented checkpoint. After that, we made minor changes to the RTL and reran synthesis and implementation, the latter of which was now executed with the incremental implementation flow. Finally, we analyzed how much of the reference design was reused in the incremental implementation. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.